Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, since I started doing Islamic reaction videos, many Christians reached out to me and they asked me, hey, Bobby, why don't you react to anti-Islamic content? Guys, first and foremost, most of anti-Islamic content is simply trash. They're simply lying and they're disingenuous. This is why I do not want to spend my time reacting to such content. Moreover, I used to watch anti-Islamic content myself before I started actually researching Islam so there would be no point for me in watching that content and that being said when I do reaction videos yes egocentrical Bobby here I do it for myself as well because I am learning so why would I watch something that I already watched and found to be absolutely false but hey nevertheless today I'm gonna give it a shot we're gonna watch the ministry of the world with their video Islam is false this is what why? So this is apparently a Christian street preacher in a dialogue with Muslims and this is why we're gonna watch this. I do not want to watch David Wood sitting in front of his webcam and talking to himself. With no further ado, let's have a look. <laughs> No, you can say you can use other words. Racism uh, is a bad word. Racism so is a bad word to use in, in this context. That's what you've been saying. One, one, another thing, I, I never said anything about terrorists. You're a liar. I never I'm brought not a liar. You, you said I, I didn't say anything you about terrorists. Earlier. You're a liar. You. liar. And another thing, your Muslim brother said, Allah lets everybody into heaven. That's what he said. I didn't say that. I said, my God only allows those who believe in Christ in heaven. Your Muslim brother said he lets everyone into heaven. So maybe you should go talk to him. And I don't know why you're so upset when your Bible disrespects, I mean, when your Quran disrespects Christianity. This is if you say we're all supposed to respect really and love this. each other, then why did your Quran why does your Quran come back? Why does your Quran say it's okay to kill the unbelievers? Why does your Quran say it's okay to kill the polytheists? Why does your Quran call Christians and Jews deluded? So your Quran says that. All I'm doing is reading what your Quran says and you're getting yeah, angry at me. If you don't like what I'm saying, get mad at the source that I'm reading. Get mad at the Quran. Why are you getting mad at me? So I'm gonna bring back hadith again. This is when you read the Quran that you just read with Hadith, you'll find all this is not true. I don't hate Christians, I don't hate Jews, I don't hate non-believers, and I don't certainly don't feel like I have to damage them or hurt them. Also, I have a question. How do we as Muslims here negatively affect you? How do you affect you in a, a bad way? You don't okay. affect me at all. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand that. So, okay, thanks for that. So, why are you coming out here saying that we believe in, in the wrong thing? You're not saying the truth. You're the one spreading light about us. That's it. Yeah. Jesus, because Jesus Christ says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one will come to the Father except for by Christ Jesus. So there's, in, in the Quran, there's nothing that says... That's what John said, so we don't really know if Jesus said that or not. Truth or Allah is the truth, but in the Bible it says, Jesus Christ... Have you Christ, read the Quran yeah, yeah. with Hadith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Jesus no. Christ is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. Because I don't, I don't care about the Hadith. The thing is, the thing That's is, okay. that means you, don't, you don't respect Stop. Allah. Because the Quran is not good enough. You need Hadith to authenticate the Quran, which means that God... God didn't sit down an inadequate book. He sit down an inadequate book because you need other books to validate the one book. Oh, just like how uh, I understand the point being made here. To be fair, me personally, when I read the Quran or rather the translation of the Quran, I didn't need a tafsir or some sort of hadith to further explain what I read in the Quran. However, he and other anti-Islamists definitely show why those things are actually needed because they want to twist scripture. So those additions to the Quran are simply there as a protection so you don't start twisting scripture and even if you look into the Bible man you have a billion interpretations of the Bible so yet again I say he who has eyes to see he will read the Quran and fully understand that it is about worshiping God alone it's very very simple actually but then you have people that twist the scripture yet again and for those people to have some additional information is maybe not a bad idea the Bible keeps changing no it's never changing the Quran never it's changed the, 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 the Quran, the Quran has changed many times. What, what about, what about, what about the 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 uh, the the, 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 uh, the manuscripts that Uthman burned? That are different. What about in the Hadith? He said that Uthman burned a whole bunch of manuscripts that that different. Why is that? Manuscripts or Quran? Quran. Quran is still at Jackson. The beginning of that's not true. There's, there's not many true. different Qurans, bro. I don't know who taught you that. 
<laughs> but you need to go. You need to go back whoever taught you said to say why are you lying to me, bro? Because Jesus Christ oh, is the way, the truth, and the life. Very, and no Muslim. I believe exhausting. in Jesus. No, you believe in Issa, bro. No, Jesus is gonna come back. No, you believe in Issa. That's that's they a different Jesus. Jesus. But, he is Jesus. You, Jesus. Jesus. but didn't Jesus say my God and your God? And didn't Jesus teach us the Father's prayer where we pray only to God, not to Him? When did Jesus hang a cross? When did Jesus say worship those icons? When did Jesus teach? Teach the Trinity. Even when we rely on the Bible, we do not see Jesus teaching the Trinity. We don't. His name was Yeshua. Where do you get Esther from? Maybe. Jesus is a, is a Greek rendition of Yeshua. Where did Esther come from? Isa is the Islamic tradition. No, the, the, Arabic, the Arabic name of, Je of Jesus is Asu. Isa is Jesus. A S U, Asu. Isa Who is Isa? Jesus. No, no, no. You guys need to go research. Asu means Jesus in Arabic. Who is Isa? He's Hallelujah. Jesus. That's why you guys gotta go study, bro. You just can't stand in front of some random dude and, and because he has a, a, a robe and a beard, you, he deserves your respect. The Bible says, prove all things. Hold on to that which is good. So even us, even us, we uh, we don't just take our word from a from a bishop or from a pastor. We go to the Bible and Amen. put the pastor. But on if the you would really go to the Bible by yourself, there's absolutely no chance, no chance. I bet that you would find Trinity. Absolutely no chance whatsoever. Anybody that I know that read the Bible and never went to church, never heard of the Trinity, does not see the Trinity. It is only when you start listening to the church. Fathers, you start looking into the Nicene Creed, etc. This is when you get convinced by the Trinity. Before that, there is no chance, yet again, by reading the Bible itself, that you would come to the conclusion that Jesus is God. This is why I find it so strange that Protestants are claiming sola scriptura and they still do believe in the Nicene Creed by believing in the Trinity. Does it doesn't make sense. What the Bible says that man is a false prophet or that man is a liar. And that's what you should do too. If what you're sick or whatever, if even if you're Conscience. You can know dang well if you're okay. This guy knows. Your conscience doesn't even line up with what the Quran says. And if that is true, then that, there must be something wrong with it. And what you find there is something wrong with it. You will see why the Quran says that if you have any doubts, resort to the people of the book, resort to the people who are reading the scriptures before you. Wow, man, he's just warming up the same old nonsense. Why wouldn't your conscience resonate with worshiping one God alone? Then you'll come to us and we'll tell you in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God and God so loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son that we were believed. Believes in him, hallelujah. We're not perish. Yeah, he's just preaching. Life. I mean, he's a street preacher him. after all, so therefore he's preaching, but he's not making one rational argument. What God is, is offering everyone today, life everlasting through Christ Jesus. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the only way to be forgiven of our sins is through the death, burial, and resurrection found in Christ Jesus. You, you take on Christ's righteousness, and you stand before God like Christ was standing before God. You stand before God. Okay, you just said it. Christ was standing before God. In his righteousness, you debunk yourself. the Bible says all That's it. righteousness is like filthy rags no one gets into heaven no one gets gets in god's house without honoring his son the bible says he who honors the son also honors the father he who disrespects the son is also disrespecting the father yes of course and that would hold true even if you see jesus as a prophet because you would have to honor him but that doesn't make him the father that doesn't make him god and that's why we're out here we're uh, out here so, so every annoying. single one can have a relationship yeah, with the father people. through jesus christ because he is the forgiveness of sins Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah yet again. You're just preaching, you're not making one argument. So you want to have a relationship with the Father. So you are indirectly admitting that the Father is God. And you want to have that relationship with God through Jesus. But if you look into your own Bible, it says as well, worship God alone, pray without ceasing. It doesn't say you have to go through anybody. It even says, call no man Father. But yet again, we as Christians, we call our priests Father. Why do we do that? Why do we have to go through saints, through people, through Jesus to ask God anything? Why don't we just pray to God? Okay, first of all, right? Muslims believe in Jesus, but I have a question for you. Since the Holy Spirit is inside you, can you please show me a miracle? Sure. You want me to show you a miracle? A miracle is this, bro. 
Uh, three years ago, I was a drug dealer, I was a thief, I was a, a fornicator, I was an adulterer, I was a blasphemer, and today I'm a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's a miracle, bro. To take a wretch like me, to take a fallen, a terrible person like me and make me holy? Oh my gosh, that's a miracle! You to take a, to take a fallen person, a, 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 a son of Adam, someone, someone that, uh, that, that was, uh, that was uh, uh, so far in my sin? Yeah, it's really cringe, man. It's hardcore. Oh, wow. It's very, very hard for me watching this but that being said of course it is good that the guy went away from selling drugs taking drugs fornicating and whatnot but haven't you heard conversion stories within other faiths even within buddhism and hinduism and people stop doing those things because they get closer to god and that is a beautiful thing in itself but it has nothing to do with the doctrine and the theology of christianity and it set me free and now i can now i can proclaim the name of god hallelujah that's a miracle okay. that's a miracle Bro. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What else, what else do you need? If that's a miracle, then most of can do the same thing when it's time, can we? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You ever speak to Allah? And exactly that's not right. A physical miracle. Amen. 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 Exactly right, man. How many Muslims revert to Islam and then they stop fornicating, they get married, they stop drinking alcohol, eating pork, etc., etc. Did you stop drinking alcohol and eating pork? <laughs> Um, so annoying. So what? I was here. I just wanted to share. Like, Why do you want to direct to this? My, uh, Why? I got to talk to somebody that was him or like his friend. So we had a conversation about Jesus and the Bible, and um, because I'm from Hindu religion, so I started asking questions about that. And then these guys asked me that if I've read my own scriptures, which I didn't read at all, but I knew that those things that they say are are something too. So when what? I had a conversation with them, I went home, I read my own scriptures and that opened my eyes. Wow. <laughs> so I just want to say that guys, go home, whatever religion you guys follow, whatever you call God, it is what it is. Or it cannot be defined. So yeah, it cannot be defined. You can call him whatever, you can call him Jesus, you can call him Allah, whoever you call, it exists. That's true, it exists, you will feel it. But go home, call him whatever, call him by your name too, because he is him. We are all created by him, but we cannot define him. Only thing, he's there because creator is creation and creation is creator. But you can find the Right, so she's a pantheist and many logical fallacies here. At first she says that God cannot be defined, but then she says the creator is the creation and the creation is the creator. So if that is correct, then you can of course define God. Because if God is the creation, it is very easy to define him. You simply look at creation, you see God, done deal, this is him. But this is a fallacy of course, because the creation is temporary. We know that everything will perish, but God will not. They are in direct contact. Contrast God the eternal and the creation the temporary. So God cannot be the creation itself. But moreover, she says again, you cannot define him, but call him what you will. Call him Jesus. So if you call him Jesus, you're already defining him. So those are just rambles of a woman. The knowledge from whichever scripture you read. Yeah. Be it Quran, Whatever. be it Bible, be and it. And look at this preacher nodding and listening to her. Mm -hmm. He's actually entertaining her idea because he hates Islam. Instead of listening, Listening to his follow Abrahamic brothers, no, he's gonna listen to a new age. She makes so much sense. Be it Quran, be it Bible, be it Bhagavad Gita, be it like whichever other religion, Buddhism or whatever. Or anything, bro. Whatever. But doesn't matter. He's there, and we all we don't need to fight on what we need to call him. He's true, and like that's not he wants us to do. Everything is true. He Amen. Wants him to Amen. Like, <laughs> he wants us to call Amen. him by whatever name we can call him. So you agreed now with saying amen you agree completely that all the scriptures are correct so by default you debunk yourself yet again because christianity claims jesus was crucified and he is god Islam claims that Jesus did not get crucified and that God is God. Jesus is not God. No man is God. Buddhism claims there is no God at all. But hey, they're all right. Amen. The Bible says the Bible says Jesus. The Bible says the name of God is Christ Jesus. If you start reading a whole bunch of other religions, yeah, now you disagree. Books, but why did you say Amen? The only true book is out of that, that's of God is the Holy Bible. Now, oh other, man. Other so you're nodding Bible. in front of this woman. You're entertaining her, and now you disagree. What is this? But that's not true at all. Buddha is not Allah. Allah is not Jesus. Jesus is not Vishnu. Vishnu is not the Mormon God. These are all different gods with different books, with different understandings and different pathways. And that's why Jesus Christ clarified it for you. He says that I am the way, the truth, and the
the light. Jesus what does that mean? I am the door and no man enters except for by me. So, the only so what does that mean? You simply believe in Jesus. You do whatever you want to do and you enter heaven. Why did you stop fornicating? Why did you stop taking drugs? Why don't you just go through Jesus right into heaven then? The way to the true God. There's many ways to Satan. She's right. You can read the, 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 the Vedas and get to Satan. You can be a Buddhist and get to Satan. You can be an Islamist and get to Satan. You can be a Mormonist and get to Satan. You can be a Jehovah Witness and get to Satan. Hallelujah. But the only way to God, the only way to the true one God, the God that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is through Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, yeah. Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So boring, Amen. Hallelujah. You know what's another miracle? I have God living inside me. You got live God living inside you? Show me a miracle right now, a physical miracle. You got God living inside you? Of course not, I'm not God. The Bible says this, <laughs> that for a perverse and wicked generation, there will be no signs. The sign will be the Son of Man will be in the belly for of, the, of the earth for three days and rise again. You have a sign. The sign is that Jesus is alive. Amen. Okay, so great. Fantastic. You have God inside you. God is inside you by the default. You must work miracles. Show us something. The Bible says this, that for a perverse and wicked generation, there will be no signs. The sign will be the Son of Man will be in the belly for of, the, of the earth for three days and rise again. You have a sign. The sign is that Jesus is alive. Amen. Why do you look amongst the yes. living? Why do you look for the, for, the, for, the, for the living amongst the dead? The Bible says that if you won't believe, if they won't believe when a man rise from the dead, there's nothing that I can do to make them believe. So that's your sign. The sign is Christ is alive. The Christ rose from the dead. Another, yeah. Okay, if, if, if what you're saying, Allah is Satan, then who's Satan in Islam? Pardon me? If Allah is Satan, then who's Satan in Islam? <laughs> who's Satan in is every, Islam? Allah and Muhammad. Allah is Satan and Muhammad is his messenger. So you've seen that the Muhammad is a Muhammad. Allah, look, is, okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So how do you, how do you let me can I ask you a I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Right, listen, listen. Prophecy, listen. It's prophecy. hilarious, man. This comes from ignorance and arrogance at the same time. You can clearly tell that this man never read the Quran because I had a very similar perspective on this as well. I was convinced that Allah is Satan until I opened up the Quran. Just look into the Quran, read a few pages, and you will see yourself that you're seeking refuge in God away from Satan. Hmm. A lot, a lot of, there's a many, you ever heard of a psychic? They give prophecies too, who cares? Listen to me. If, if I can, okay, if Allah, if God lies, okay, if God lies, he's no longer, if God lies or shows deception, he's no longer God. Agreed? Uh, yeah, sure. So if God, for God to be God, he cannot, for God to be God, he cannot lie or be deceptive. Is that true? What do you mean deceptive? Deceptive. Okay, so is, is lying a sin? Yeah. Can God sin? Huh, pardon? If, can God sin? Oh, it's lying a sin. <sighs> yes. So if I can find a place where Allah lied, he's no longer God. He's Satan. Because the Bible says Satan is the father of lies, where correct? Where does he lie? Where does he lie? Okay, Allah says this. Allah says, I made it look like I put Jesus on the cross, but I took him away and put someone else on there. That's deception, bro. That's a Decepticon from a Transformers. And then, and then by his own admission, he, he, he. Anti-Islamists always want to bring up the point that Allah is a deceiver. Can't you see? He's a deceiver and therefore he is the devil. But ultimately, they're not looking into their own Bible. God himself within the Bible is testing his people by sending false prophet, by leading them astray it is in the bible man you can look it up he is misleading people as a test to test their faith it is the same concept did he take did he take jesus off the cross and did he take jesus off the cross and, to the Christians and, 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 and make, make it seem like jesus was on the cross did he do that <laughs> hallelujah yeah. hallelujah now, now yeah go home bro and ask why your god is a liar God God lied. He lied, bro. Did he lie to us? He didn't was save Jesus, the prophet. Was Jesus on the cross? He didn't save the prophet. Was Jesus on the cross? Uh, <laughs> some of us really it. feel that people take religion just to use it as an output for their mental illness. Is it okay to lie? Is it ever okay to lie? Jesus was on the cross. Jesus, so Jesus was on the cross. Not on the cross. Not on the cross. So he lied. He didn't lie. He said that I made it look like Jesus was on the cross. Is that a lie? I'll give you an example. Is that a lie? Huh? Is that a lie? I made it look like Jesus was on the cross. Is that a lie? If that anybody was lying, it would be the people that wrote the stories. Then it wouldn't be God. Did they, ask, did they ask Allah? Did they have a conversation? It's not like they asked. I didn't ask you that. I said the Quran says I made it look like Jesus was on the cross. Oh, uh, okay, guys, I really had enough. This boring.
All right, guys, and this is it. I'm going to cut it off here long enough as it is an absolutely fruitless discussion. As I said previously, I really don't want to react to anti-Islamic content because it is essentially trash. It really is. Look at this. Just people screaming at each other. And to be totally honest, the Muslims weren't even screaming. They were asking questions. And this guy's just preaching. Hallelujah, hallelujah, a miracle. God living inside of me. Yay. I cannot stand listening to this, nor is there anything positive coming out of this. So we're going to cut off this video. Very simple. And we're not going to react to further anti-Islamic content. Why would we? All right, guys. But this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. Nevertheless, if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.